like the Cinderella fairy tale? Imagine your friend as the main character, though she'll lose her two flip-flops instead of one glass slipper. You'll have to buy the same flip-flops that she has, cut the fastening off the straps, replace her flip-flops for the special ones. She puts them on and tries to walk. Oops! Oh heck, my flip-flops have torn. The brand new ones! I'll have to go barefoot. How can I return home? Now it's your turn. You should tell her the truth and give her the flip-flops back. She'll be really happy. Nothing makes you happier than getting back the thing you thought was lost. Just look. She's not angry with you. But it doesn't mean I won't pay her back. I'm going to add a little sand to her drink. Put brown sugar in a Ziploc bag. Hammer it up. The sugar looks like sand. We can even mold it into something. Just look. You can't tell which is what. This is regular sand, and this is brown sugar. They look very much alike. Now wait until she wants to drink her lemonade. Take her cup and add the special sand to her drink. She doesn't understand what's going on. Even if she looks closer, she'll be far from understanding. The loose sugar looks exactly like the usual sand. Stir well and drink. She's at a loss. She doesn't know what to think. Offer her a taste. She wouldn't agree at first, but she's too curious and overcomes her disgust. Especially since she doesn't find any sand on the bottom. Everything becomes clear when she tastes her drink. Tasty ink in a pen refill? Have we mixed anything up? Hush, don't reveal the secret before the right time. Remove the refill from a pen. Take out the nib. Blow out the ink into a cup. We won't need it anymore. Add condensed milk in a cup with red food coloring. Stir it with a stick. Suck it into a syringe. Eject the new edible ink into the refill. Set the nib. Assemble the pen. My friend asks me to help her with her study. How can I refuse? I don't want to make her bored, so I use a special school supply trick. I correct her mistakes with my amazing red pen to make her sure that the pen writes. And then I use it in my prank. I remove the refill and suck the ink. Mmm, tasty! Do you need to clean your hands? We've got special wipes. Remove a wipe. Attach a plastic bug. Oh, sweetie! Put it in the pack. Take a wipe, but not the top one, and quickly go away. My friend needs to clean her hands as well. She takes a wipe and immediately takes her hand away. The fake bug looks so real. She tries to throw it away with a stick. Oh God, what's this? Oh, it's my bug. I've pranked myself. Slime in a sneaker? Sounds absolutely weird. Pour clear stationary glue in a bowl. Add a little liquid detergent for washing. Add blue coloring. Stir it. The liquid mixture turns thick and stretchy. Continue kneading in your hands. Place the slime in a Ziploc. Spot when she's busy with something. Okay, it's the right moment. She's talking on the phone. I've got a chance to put the slime in her shoe. Quickly, I've done it. Now watch it. She puts on the sneaker, but feels there's something inside. Oh God, ugh, ghastly. How can I get rid of it? She'll regret this. Are you going to spoil your friend's phone case? No way. We'll create a new design. She wanted to renovate her old plain phone case long ago, but wouldn't dare. We'll help her do it now. Shade her phone case with markers or felt pens. Make it random. Your friend is shocked. Yes, she did want to decorate her phone case, but in another way. She believes her phone case is spoiled and estimates how much she should pay for a new one. It's the right time to say the decoration hasn't been completed yet. Take rubbing alcohol or any other liquid containing a high level of alcohol, face lotion for example. Put it in a spray bottle. Spray it on the case before your friend's wide open eyes. Blended with the alcohol, the colors become smooth. They start bleeding into each other across the edges. All this creates a unique design. Now it's no longer a boring phone case, but a smart accessory. And your friend is happy to get her phone case renovated. Your prank is a great success. Let's see what there is in her makeup bag. Wow, a silicone sponge. Let's substitute it with a fake one. It's incredible. You can't tell at first glance that it's an imitation. It's flexible and a bit stretchy of the same color and texture. Place the silicone sponge in a bowl. Mark the size. 
Make jelly. Pour hot water in a bowl with gelatin. Follow the instructions on the package. Add blue coloring and mix. Put it in the fridge to harden. Transfer the thick jelly onto a plate. Cut it out, tracing the silicone sponge. Remove the excess. Smooth the edges with a knife. Your friend is going to correct her makeup. She takes out her favorite sponge. What's wrong? It's sticky and strained. She understands whose trick it is, but she'll hardly guess the sponge is edible. Is your friend too fastidious about her notes? Then she must have a few pens of different colors. Use it as a smart idea for a new prank. We've got three pens, blue, red, and black. Take off the caps and remove the colored part of the barrel. Replace them. Put the blue parts on the red pen, the red parts on the black one, and the black on the blue pen. Your friend wants to write with the black pen, but it appears blue. She tries blue, but gets red. She has to take her pen apart. Why is there a red refill, I wonder? What if I try the red pen? It writes black, and here is the same mess. She has to change the pen parts. I need to correct my mistake. Oh God, what's wrong with the correction fluid? It's her tricks again. Yes, it's the same correction fluid I can paint my nails with. We filled it with the nail polish earlier. Okay. I also have a sense of humor. Take black mascara. Better use a waterproof type. Apply it to the black pen grip. The mascara lays well on the rubber grip. Done! Give it to your friend. She doesn't notice anything at first, but then her fingers turn black. It's clear. She's playing her tricks again. I should wash it off immediately. You're not the only one who knows about the fake food. Do you like fried eggs for lunch? I can't help laughing. Let's look at her reaction. The egg looks real, but it's an imitation. Though it's unexpectedly tasty. Okay, I'll reveal the secret. You'll need the liquid milk jelly again. Pour it on a plate. Let it cool. Leave a little jelly to make a yolk. Add the yellow liquid food coloring. Stir until smooth. We've got a saturated sunny yellow tint. Take a dome-shaped container. Fill it in half. Let it cool. The jellied milk looks like the egg white. Remove the cooled yolk from the shape. Wow! It looks like the perfect fried egg. So tempting. I'm going to share the photo on Instagram. Have you ever seen such an exquisite fried egg? It's actually edible, but let it be untouched for the photo. Huh, the fried egg is nothing compared to the stuff I'm going to suggest. Let's see how you react to these weird creatures. We'll need drinking straws with a bendy part. Stretch it. Take straws of different sizes. Be careful to take more straws with a long flexible section. Put them upright. Make the necessary ingredients. Pour in a spoonful of cocoa mixed with the hot water. You can use brown food coloring instead. Add some sugar. Stir well. Mix with the gelatin. Follow the instructions on the package of how to make jelly. Stir again. Pour the warm jelly in the straws. Put them in the fridge for a night. Sometimes three to four hours is enough. Put the cup in the bowl with hot water for a couple of seconds. The jelly near the cup walls melts. And now we can remove the straws easily. Squeeze or blow out the jelly. Ick! What cute little worms! To make the composition complete, take a chocolate sponge cupcake Break it, put it in the plastic container to imitate soil. Put it on top of the worms. Ugh, they seem to crawl around right now. You can have this awesome worm collection meet your friend. Let's taste the sweet creatures. Tempting, isn't it? 
Just don't laugh until your friend doesn't get what's going on. The worms are fresh and nutritious. Full of protein, by the way. Good for health. Oops, she's gone away. Come on, it's a joke. They don't bite. They are sweet. And the cupcake is yummy. I'll take some more. It's time for a clothes prank. I'm going to replace her sock. One sock will appear too small. Let's sew down one sock so that she can't wear it. Begin on the wrong side to tie off and hide the knot. Make big stitches across the striped borderline to make the seam invisible. Just look. If you don't know what to seek, you'll never notice it. Easy, but quite effective. The stitch will stop the foot from going further. Don't miss the moment when she pulls the socks on. I'll take care of her sneakers, too. Put in big cotton balls. They look like nothing's changed. Wait until she encounters the problem. I wouldn't like to be close by when she tries to put them on. Okay, let's draw on her white t-shirt in return. Your friend's going to wear it soon. We took her t-shirt so that she didn't notice it. Take a water-soluble fabric pencil. If you've got a marker of the same kind, the effect will be greater. When your friend finds out her t-shirt is spoiled, try to keep cool. But make sure not to overdo it. Tell her the truth before she gets desperate. Spray the pencil with water. It disappears before your eyes. She won't have to wash her t-shirt. She can wear it right now. There's unique toothpaste in the bathroom. Squeeze the paste to make the tube empty. Use a cake decorating tool to fill it with hand cream. It's as white as the toothpaste. You won't tell which is what by the color or consistency. Replace the real toothpaste with the special one. Watch carefully. She's going to brush her teeth. There's something wrong, the odd smell. Perhaps it's some special kind. Oh no! What's this? She's pranked me again. It's awful. I should wash my teeth immediately. Be sure to subscribe together with your friends. Click the like button and ring the bell. Watch new videos and share them on social networking sites.